Yo, what's going on everybody? My name's Dusky and we're here with a brand new video on the brand new game Horizon Zero Dawn. And yeah, so far this game is absolutely awesome. I've been waiting for this game to come out for a long time. I've already been playing it all day. I'm already up to level 14 right now and uh, before we really get into anything, I gotta kill some things real quick. So yeah, let's do this. I gotta kill this corruptor right here. Let's use fire arrows and let's aim for its weak spot. See the yellow? The yellow on his head? That's its weak spot. Oh, did it just aggro on me? No, 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 we're good. I'm gonna shoot and move so it doesn't aggro straight onto me. Oh shit. Oh, I fucked up. Die already! Die! 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 One more, one more! In the face! Die! Okay, how about you? You're next? I need to build more flame arrows. This game has a very sim- OH SHIT! THE BIG ASS ROCK! I was about to say this game has a very similar crafting system to like, Far Cry Primal. This game is absolutely epic, and if you wonder what I'm fighting right now, because you don't really know anything about this game, basically, they're like machine dinosaurs. Well, I don't really know if that's a machine dinosaur, but there's like a lot of machine-like dinosaurs in this game, and there's just machine... Just machine animals, machine creatures that try to kill you. Some of them you can override, and you can literally ride them as like mounts. Other ones, you got to fight. Each one has their own weakness. These are called watchers right here. That right there is a corruptor. Basically, the corruptor, which is that thing right there, what it does... Oh, big ass rock! Basically, what it does is any other machine animals or machine dinosaurs, like in anywhere near it, what it does is it corrupts them and makes them fight for it. So, it just makes its army bigger and bigger. Get some! Dude, I feel so badass shooting this bow. Woo, we killed it. We killed it. Corrupted down. Now let's kill the stragglers. Yeah, you ain't getting away from me. The sun shines upon us this day. It wasn't the sun risking its ass down here. <laughs> For real, it was us. In this game, we play as a character called Aloy, which is this girl right here. In the beginning of the game, you know, she starts out as a baby and we get to see how she grows up and everything. But pretty much her entire life, she was an outsider or an outcast, which in the world that we're actually in right now is basically civilization is like failed or crashed. And this is like a thousand years or like a long time after that. And there's like machine dinosaurs. We're back to like hunting and gathering as far as the people work. There's tribes, there's different religious beliefs of each tribe. Basically the tribe of where she lived, she was an outcast or an outsider along with the man that actually raised her. We had to play through this thing called the proving which is basically like a challenge to prove to the tribe that you know we're worthy of actually being acknowledged because there's like a rule in the tribe you cannot even talk to the outsiders in the beginning of the game everybody was so rude to her everybody was so rude to Aloy like it was ridiculous it was kind of crazy to see will you open the gate for me now <laughs> you heard her open the gates they let me in this game is absolutely beautiful as far as the graphics go. The world is just insane to explore. Like, I seriously have been playing this all day long since when I woke up till now. The world that we're in is, like, really intriguing. Like, I just want to know more about it. Like, I want to learn about the tribes. I want to learn about how everything works. I want to explore the lands. I mean, the map, the map itself is freaking huge. Look at this. Okay, if it'll load. This is the whole map right here. I have been playing all day long. I'm already level 14. I've only explored this much of it so far. There's still so much left to explore. There's a ton of side quests. The main storyline is absolutely awesome. It's it's intriguing. Like, you actually want to know what happens. The storyline does a great job of making Aloy an absolute badass, okay? She's freaking awesome in, like, every way. We're basically the underdog in this world. As far as, like, the crafting and gathering system goes, I it's a lot like Far Cry. Like, look at this. You have all the different crafting. You can upgrade how much you can carry. You got your ammo. You got all kinds of stuff. Inventories. You know, there's different weapons, outfits, modification resources, treasure box. There's all kinds of stuff in this game. Plus, there's a whole skill tree, which allows you to unlock different skills, which allow you to do different things. So, you can really favor the way you like to play by unlocking the skills that help you out best. I'm probably, honestly, about four or five hours into this game now and i have zero complaints about it everything is awesome everything is awesome it's polished nice the graphics are awesome i haven't had any glitches nothing like that this game so far has lived up to the expectations that i had for it i'm 100 gonna play this game all the way through no doubt in my mind i also really like the dialogue wheel because you can kind of control like how she replies and how everything is played out another key factor about this game is aloy this girl right here she's really smart and intrigued with the technology like a lot more than everyone else in the civilization is okay not everyone there's some other people if you see this little chip thing on the side of her head right by her ear that actually allows us to do a lot allows us to you know kind of like interact with the machines allows us to track their trails you know it basically gives me this mode right here which does a lot in the game and it's honestly a really cool aspect like i really want to explore the entire world of this game like oh whoa i've never seen that before what is that that's a flying machine what is that come closer so i can scan you please i want to know what you are i wonder if i can ride that because you can override some of the machines and ride them. I wonder if I can override that one somehow. Look at it. It's a desert, man. 
<laughs> kind of resembles the Grand Canyon. Okay, what are you? I seriously have not had this much fun playing a video game in a long time. Like, I don't know why. I'm just so intrigued with the story and everything. This game is, it's so awesome. It's so good. Oh, it's a storm bird. Okay, and it's about to aggro on me and try to kill me now. I gotta get out of here. Bill, Bill, Bill. These bonfires are like the quick saves and the fast travel areas. This game is a lot like other open world games, but this game like takes like the best aspects from all the open world games, you know, Skyrim, Fallout, Assassin's Creed with the climbing. You got, you know, Far Cry with all the gathering and stuff. It just takes all the best aspects from all the other open world games and mashes them together. And this is what came out. And it, it's, it's fucking awesome. I'm so happy this game is out, bro. Like you don't, you don't even know. I've been waiting for it and I'm, I'm satisfied. Okay. Whoa, look, this is another new machine species. I haven't seen called the trampler there's remnants of the old world like civilization as we know it now everywhere throughout this game there's like old caves and mines that are like ruins of it where you can actually go like searching through them and you can find stuff there's so much to this game there's so much to be done there's so many side quests that are like well detailed if you thought about buying this game and playing it and you haven't yet you seriously should like it is 100 percent 100 percent worth it it's a bore Excuse me? What is this? A freaking fireproof boar? Yo! Boar! This is the invincible boar! What is going on here? Die! Whoa, look at the size of that one. What is that thing? A thunder jaw? That thing is absolutely huge! He's ginormous! I don't want to fight him. I do not want to fight that thing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my distance and use stealth to my advantage. Just move around him. And yo, there's some serious weather in this game. It's constantly changing. See, now it's all beautiful and sunny. It's only been like a minute since it was a sandstorm. Just the architecture on this place is incredible too. Just look at it. Wow. Why? Why was everybody like standing at attention when I walked by them right there? That was crazy. I felt so special right there. Your own sister murdered and her death unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself. Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass. Damn. Okay, how are we gonna get in? Ugh. Oh, that was subtle. Try not to break anything other than the door. Oh, we found a secret passageway. Question is, how to get through it? What is this? Is this like gold or something? There's no way she's gonna be able to move that by herself. There's no way she's moving it. That has to be so heavy. Oh. I did say not to break anything, didn't I? Ha! <laughs> Yo, I got you, dude. I'll, I'll save you. I'll save you. Holy shit! What is that thing? The freeze bomb! Holy sh- Dude, he jumped right on top of me! Get freeze bomb, bitch! You wanna fight me? You wanna fight me? Come on, come at me, boy! Come at me! I don't even know what you are, but I'm gonna fight you to the death! Oh, he has a lot of range on his attacks! I need to hit him right in the back in this little blue- Ooh. He just exploded! What just happened? He completely- exploded okay for real this game is amazing honestly in every way it is amazing if you're thinking about playing this game definitely go play it but i think i'm gonna wrap up this video there's definitely definitely gonna be more videos on this game anyways i really hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did leave me a like or a comment or both i hope you guys are having a fantastic day or night or whenever you're watching this and like always i'm dusky and later god damn god damn you be sexy girl looking at your body and i know you make my world god damn god damn the way you move your hips every way you move your body sends me on a fucking trip god damn god damn you be sexy girl looking at your body and i know you make my world